There are heroes among us, ordinary people you've never heard of doing extraordinary things. One of our goals on Connects is to introduce you to some of these people in the Northwest who are making a big difference. Tonight, producer Leslie McClurg brings us the story of one local man who makes it his life's work to stick out his neck for the common good. I don't regret any of it. I actually don't. Because everything that happened in that life, I was in wars and revolutions, I was involved in all kinds of stuff like that, um, all led me to who I am now. John Graham's life reads like an adventure novel. Well, the adventure started with a trip on a freighter to the Far East as a member of the crew when I was 17. And the, the next thing was uh, summer hitchhiking in Europe that took me into North Africa and into uh, the war in Algeria. After that, the very next year was uh, being a member of a Harvard team that made the first direct descent at the north wall of Mount McKinley in Alaska, almost dying in the McKinley River afterward. After graduating from Harvard, John became a war correspondent, always yearning to be in the middle of the action in some of the most dangerous places in the world. I was completely beaten at that point, seasick as a dog, dying of hypothermia. Later, he joined the Foreign Service, dodging bullets in places like Libya and Vietnam. I did it because uh, uh, it was an adrenaline buzz. John went on to become a member of NATO and served as a diplomat. But while stationed in Vietnam, he was called on to advise officials on how to handle South Vietnamese deserters. The government decided to execute them, and John blamed himself. I wasn't there as a patriot. I was only there for the adventure of it. And it just seemed that my whole life was remarkably shallow at that point. I shouldn't have been there making those decisions. That experience in Vietnam put John on a new path, one focused on service to others. He began by doing work for the Carter administration in human rights issues. The adventures now for me are, are, are not so much climbing mountain walls or dodging bullets. They're more adventures of the spirit and adventures of the mind. Now, John is using his experiences to help others writing and traveling the globe as a motivational speaker to help people to find deeper meaning in their own lives. His latest book, Sit Down Young Stranger, tries to do just that. It is an autobiography telling of his adventures and how they led to the reflections that helped him appreciate what is really important. But perhaps his most important endeavor is an organization he founded with his wife. From their office on Whidbey Island, they run the Giraffe Heroes Project. And what we do, our mission is to move people to stick their necks out for the common good and give them tools to succeed. Hazel Wolf is an example of a giraffe, commended for her 48 years of tireless environmental advocacy work. John and his wife work with Hazel and hundreds like her. And we act as their PR agents. We make them as famous as we can, getting their stories on the media and uh, or on our website, articles, speeches, and the like. The whole idea is very simple. Others will see and hear these stories and they'll say, well, what am I sitting in this chair for? Today, the Giraffe Heroes Project has a bank of over 1,000 stories about individuals doing incredible things. Because there's a lot more important things than making money or gaining power. What's important is being of service. And it brings joy to my life. It brings passion to my life. It makes me alive at age 66 years old, whatever it is. It absolutely turns me on. And I want more people to understand that, that there is that much joy in being of service. For more information on the work John is doing, you can visit his website at www.johngramspeaker.org. We've put a link on our website, kcts9.org connects.